Yes, Louise Quinn is the Sky Player of the Match in the international friendly China against the Republic of Ireland. Now, a first and uh, an important step on the way to, to Australia. Yeah, exactly. For us, it's, uh, it's another clean sheet against a top team. Um, but really, I thought we just could have gone on and won it. I feel like they didn't threaten us too much, had an offside goal, but I just feel like we had more of the chances, more set pieces more threatening um, with the ball so you know there's maybe a small bit of disappointment in that just not to take advantage of it but overall still a really strong solid performance. You had a header against the crossbar, I thought it was going to break the crossbar. Yeah, yeah I know that's I thought I thought I had it but yeah listen it was from a tough angle great ball as well as as always and you know that's but we've got to we've got to score from those opportunities so I'll be a little bit disappointed with that but again we're creating them we're making them we're going to work harder on them to make sure that we that we take advantage of them. New faces uh, in the camp today, um, Aoife Mannion and uh, Deborah Ann uh, De La Harp started and then uh, mm -hmm. Marissa Shiva came on, what do you think they did? Yeah, listen, fair play to them, they, they stepped up to the plate, I'm sure it's, there's a, you know, you can play at a real top level, which they do with their clubs and then, but, you know, coming to the international stage and to, and to represent, you know, your country is, is is what it means and I just thought as well they just did themselves justice and them, themselves proud they've fitted right into the group so for me I just hope that they're you know that they're happy with themselves and obviously we can you know they all deserve a good pat on the back because yeah they've they've done they've done the team proud. This is the Asian Champions you're up against uh, today and it, it seems even you know, the, the bigger nations now don't uh, don't hold any fears for us. Yeah I don't know yeah there is that's that's maybe exactly it you know play play without that fear play how we want to play our game because we're adapting and we're learning you know a couple of different styles as well um, you know if you've got to if you've got to sit back or if we can keep possession and and go forward and we have a lot of top players playing in top leagues constantly and you know we do at our club so for us it's something that we yeah want to do and it's just you know more uh, more armor in our in our locker and and you know for everything going forward for the summer but uh, yeah it's um we can, you know, like, as you say, we just don't, we just don't fear those teams, and they know that we've always got a threat on them. Finally, the first of three windows now before the World Cup itself. I mean, the last ten days have been been good here in the sun. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we've we've got, you know, today was probably the hottest day, which was tough, uh, tough for the game, but um, it's just been absolutely vital for us. We uh, we love getting together as a group. Again, the atmosphere is brilliant. We work hard. Um, yeah, you know, Vera says it. When we work, we work, and then when you get the time to relax, spend time with each other, you know, do whatever you need to do. It's um, that's that's what we do, and it just gives us great great balance. So, yeah, for us, it was again another great day, we, you know, another great camp. Um, you know, again, we'll be looking forward to yeah April, June, <coughs> July, and and that's you know every time it's an honour coming in here. So we're just going to keep keep going that and keep pride in, in everything we do interview with Aoife Mannion after the Republic of Ireland against China, a game in which you made your, your debut for the Republic of Ireland. How did that feel? Oh, I'm so pleased to have made my debut. Um, in the corner of my eye I can see my mum, my dad and my sister in the stands. Um, so sort of to, to put this jersey on and then to do it in front of family as well, it's just really, really special for me. And it's something that you've been thinking about for a long time, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, it's been in the pipeline for such a long time, so, it to, so for it to come into fruition today is really pleasing them. Obviously we managed to get a clean sheet against China, they're a very good opponent and we were really pushing for that goal um, right into the dying moments of the game. It wasn't to be today, um, but we think overall that was a good performance. How did you feel beforehand? Were you nervous? Um, do you know, I actually wasn't as nervous as you'd probably think I was going to be. Like Everything is about the task at hand. It's probably only now after the game where you know I'm just letting it all soak in, the kind of um, enormous honour that it's been to put this shirt on. It's a bit more overwhelming now than it was before the game. Before the game, it was blinkers on. What's my job? What's my task? What am I going to try and do on the ball? How am I going to defend? All in the details. But now I can kind of let a little sigh of relief um, and maybe have a little bit of a celebratory moment later just to kind of acknowledge the occasion and how special it's been. And you played very well. You played for over 70 minutes and <laughs> generally acknowledge it was a, a really good debut. Thank you. You can, uh, you can come and chat to me more often. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I hope it came across that um, I was really happy to play. Um, I felt I felt like uh, really supported by everyone around me. I think we put on a good team performance. I think that was a good show of me personally. It's like generally what I'm about, quite aggressive on the ball, quite aggressive off the ball. Um, and so hopefully that, that will be of, of use going forward for us. It must be difficult to come into a group as a newbie like that. And there was also uh, Marissa and Deborah Ann. Um, and, and to know that you are trying to take the place of somebody. 
Yeah, I mean, elite football is obviously, um, it's so hard in, in, in that sort of sense. But all I can say is that everyone's been so lovely. Um, on the pitch, we obviously are going to fight like cat and dog in training, in the games. But then off the pitch, at meal times, everyone's so welcoming. Um, when Vera was asking me how, how I've been finding it the other day, I was telling her that I think the measure of the team is how long you stay together after the, after the meal time. So you eat your dinner, and some teams everyone shoots off. Yeah. But here, everyone's sitting, everyone's chatting. People have been so lovely, so welcoming. Um, and I've really benefited from that personally, so as Deborah Ann and Marissa. Um, so we could only say thank you, really, to the girls for being so uh, so welcoming. I've got people in, uh, in Mayo and Galway who have been following today's match, do you think? Yeah, definitely. Um, both of my nannies. I, I gave them a quick ring to uh, to make sure that they knew it was on. Um, Nanny Kelly in particular said that she was having the dinner at quarter to one and then at one o'clock she was going to have it on. And Nanny Nula in Galway as well. So all of my family in Ireland have, have tuned in. Um, and I, I haven't managed to look at my phone yet, but I hope that they've been pleased today. You're in Spain, but maybe a step closer to Australia after today? <laughs> Right now, we're not even thinking about that. Um, the weather's been absolutely lovely. Um, the camp has been really good. We think it's a step forward um, in what we're trying to do. Vera's been implementing little bits, and we've been trying to do that today. Um, and who knows what's going to happen over the next few warm-up games. Well, 